A very warm evening and welcome to the special Eurasex Science Slam News Hour. Tonight we have a special focus on a very debilitating old age disorder of the brain, the Alzheimer's disease. The Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia, accounting for 60 to 80 percentage of the dementia cases. According to some research, one out of every eight people over the age of 65 and as many as 50 percentage over the age of 85 suffer from Alzheimer's disease. This malady has a huge economic burden according to roughly $604 billion at the moment and is expected to cross $1 trillion by 2030 according to ADI report. In this news hour tonight, we have a special guest with us, Mr. AKD. Thank you, Kant, for uh, inviting me to the studio. So what exactly is this Alzheimer's disease? So basically, Alzheimer's disease is a very slow fatal disease of the brain. The symptoms actually starts very slowly. There is accumulation of two major protein fragments, the amyloid beta and the tau. The protein fragments get deposited in the whole of the brain. This causes massive damage to the brain. And this leads to major learning and memory disorders and ultimately affects the thinking and behavior of the patient. Why is it so difficult to find a cure? The problem is the complexity of the brain. It's a challenge in itself to probe the exact sequence of molecular mechanisms. And by the time the disease manifests itself, the damage has already been done. So A, we need to develop tools for early diagnosis. And B, we should have a precise understanding of the mechanism which will help us to develop better therapeutics. We will now take you to the Biophotonics Lab at Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai, India and learn about the lab's efforts in unraveling some of the mysteries of the Alzheimer's disease. Hi, uh, my name is Anand Kandas and I work in the Biophotonics Lab at TIFR. Why is amyloid beta toxic? This amyloid beta peptide exists in each one of our brain as single units, they pretty much do not do any harm to our brain. Under certain conditions, these monomers form gangs and these gangs called oligomers are the actual devils. The key question we are chasing is how does amyloid beta damage the brain cells? In order to study this, we need amyloid beta peptide and the brain cells. We synthesize the peptide in our laboratory and obtain brain cells from rat. Earlier, I told you that single guys are cool guys while they turn devil when they are part of the gang. Why are gangs of amyloid beta devilish in nature? This is a, a typical neuron and our results have shown that the gangs have the unique ability to attack the membrane of these nerve cells while the single individual monomeric units cannot attack the cell and this is probably one of the reason why these oligomers might be toxic to the nerve cell. Why are gangs so attached to the neuron membrane? To prove this we decide to look at the structure of these gangs. Interestingly we find that the structure of the gang is different from the single chaps. The gangs get folded in a particular manner. They are bent, which might hold key to the attachment differences we have observed earlier. We then proceed to understand the gang better. We wanted to probe which portion of the gang is important for attachment and which part triggers the gun. Through a series of experiments, we now understand that the bent part is important for attachment, while the tail part of the individual members of the gang holds the trigger for cell death. What's next? What happens after the gangs have attached to the cell? These gangs might form structures on membrane which presumably might puncture holes sending shock waves inside the cell, much of which is yet to be understood.